I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just came in recently and we'll be, we'll be starting on it uh, here um, relatively soon. And uh, it's an 1895 Krankenbach, which actually I think, I think my, my very favorite piano of all time, top three for sure, but, but I think it might be my very favorite of all time was an 1890s Krankenbach um, upright. very high hopes for this one because of that and uh, and it's and it's particularly fun if you've watched my other before videos you know that my favorite my favorite ones to do are the are the challenges like this one where they sound just absolutely awful I mean they, they sound like the they wouldn't even be fit to go to the dump they sound that bad um, and that's what this one sounds like I'll play it for you in a minute uh, but Okay, let's get, a, let's get a shot of some of this cabinetry. This piano was actually in the uh, Historical Society of City of Mapleton, here local, and the, uh, they value history. Historical Society does. And so, everything is done. Here's the knee board. Looks like it's been in storage for a long, long time. And then here is the front. Part that I showed you a minute ago is the part that, of course, goes right here in the middle. So yeah, that is rough. Oh, this is going to be so gorgeous. I can I can see the veneer. You can you can kind of see the veneer through there. It's just well, that almost made it worse. Um, it's it's beautiful veneer, and when that's when that's got this old veneer removed, or, or old uh, finish removed, and a, a new coat of, of lacquer on there, or several coats, it's going to be unbelievable. Those pedals, we'll, we'll use those pedals, we'll get those replated, that'll be beautiful. Oh, and look at this. That is a really old screwdriver, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Gotta be nearly as old as the piano itself. Cool. Maybe we'll clean that up and we'll have to use it on this piano. It's kind of rusty. Anyway, this video is not about the screwdriver. Um, okay, keys. Ivories that are those are those are definitely original ivory but they're in pretty bad shape. So we'll probably redo those, take those off. I'm not 100% sure, but that's probably what we'll do. Of course, the decal, we'll have to put a replica decal on there. These strings, this is, this is unusual, actually. These strings are so rusty. You can get a feel for it when I, it looks like it's been in, in a, either a tropical climate or like it had water dripping on it or something. It's because strings, they can rust, but not like that. That's extreme. And these tuning pins, same thing. The rust is so thick. distracted by the antique screwdriver. Okay, bridge. That bridge looks really good. That soundboard looks great. We'll clean it up and looks like there's a little crack there, but that's very easily repaired. This bridge does not look good. There's a crack that runs all along there. So we'll replace that bridge for sure.
let's listen to it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.